Hello and welcome to the document production series. My name is Chris Njoku. Today we'll be looking at inserting tables and pictures into our Word document. First, we drop our cursor where we want to insert the table. Let's assume this is where we want to insert the table. We'll create a space by hitting the tab key. In some cases, even if you don't, you can as well leave it like that and then hit the tab key. You go to insert. If you want to insert um, an image or a picture or a table to your document, the first thing you do is to click on insert from your menu. This is the insert tab. You click on it. And then if it's table, you click on table. If it's picture, you click on picture. Let's start with table. You click on this drop down. When you do, Word will be asking you, how do you want it? How many columns, how many rows do you want? So if you're moving your cursor around, it will be counting the columns you want. If you are bringing your cursor down, it will be counting the rows you want. As you can see, I've selected uh, five columns and four rows. And so that is what we have there on display so this is how to insert your table by the time you're done you click outside if you want to um quickly add additional uh, formatting to it what you do is just press your tab key to move around the tables and then from the edge here you can right click and it will ask you what you want to do is either you want to insert words or you want to format what you are seeing already so that's not where we're going so this is just how to insert your table now let's look at inserting a picture you go to the insert tab you click on picture and then you quickly pick any of the pictures you'd like to insert. Let me just insert this. You click on it and then you come to the bottom right and then click on insert. The picture has been inserted. Now you have to format the picture you have inserted to your Word document. How do you do that? As you're seeing now, this document is highlighted. That's why you're seeing format here. Word is telling you that if you insert any picture into a document, you are supposed to format it the way you want it to look. So automatically it has selected format for you. So this is what you do. You come and click on the wrap test. So in front of test means you want your file to be in front of the test. Behind means you want it to be behind as you can see top and bottom means they should just separate themselves true means the pin in here it's very possible that everything if it's a see-through um picture you can see through it easily tight square so by the time you start walking around you will know how to use this this is same in line with test so as you can see it's showing you in line with test because of the particular way you want it and then format it if you want it in front you do that if you want it behind by the time you are playing around this you'll be learning how to do in front and behind and then the requirement of the document is what will matter so now i'm seeing in line with test let's show you how it looks like you can see the spaces are there already now i want to click on the document on the image I format it again i want to click in front of test in this case in front of test now let's show you what has happened 
Now, in front of test means that a lot of the words are below what you have inserted. So here, it will now make Q2 format the space yourself. You can click on this. If you click on it, as you're pressing your enter key, you can see that everything is going down, including the picture. Now you can go and pick your picture and put it in the space that you want. You can reduce the size. As I'm reducing the size, now you can see everything that is hidden behind it. You can use your up arrow or you move it yourself by holding it down like this and taking it there. If the space is not okay for you, you can as well hold it from the four edges to take it to the size you want. You can as well do this as well from here. It depends on what you are doing. If you are using a system, hold it from the four edges. If you are using a smartphone, hold it from the middle. So this is just how to insert your picture. You can take it to the very spot you want it. If the size is too small, you can still hold it from here and make it large as you want it. It's quite easy. But in all, you must try to be playing around. When you're playing around this, that is how you achieve perfection. If you're working in an office at your free time, you do some of these things. Because someday, your job will require you to do this. And then, if you have not done any little practice before, you now find yourself challenged. So this is just how to insert a table and then an image to your Word document. Let me scroll through now and then you see what I've done. This is it. I've inserted the table where I swear inserted the image. And so the look of the document has changed. So thank you very much.